In this video, I build a massive power station. I also build a brand new train, go on a crazy adventure, create a beautiful lake, and I even make Danny DeVito cry. With this ridiculous amount of work, there's no wonder this video's two days late, so we better get into it. Let's create. As usual, I started by doing a little bit of work off camera. My main goal was to get our train track from the bridge over the ravine all the way up around the side of the mountain and then out to roughly where I want to have a station. I started by landscaping the area where the track was at the top of the ravine, flattening down the grass and replacing the granite but the further i got up the hill the harder it became and the more time it was taking me to clear out the dirt replace the granite and so on and so forth so in the end i ended up just making a very smooth incline using dirt blocks laying track over the top of it in order to create the shape and then laying that track through the mountain and out to where we're going to be having our station i then decided to do a little bit of landscaping around the hotel area again flattening out the grass replacing a bunch of granite and stone and this was taking forever as well eventually though i managed to blend it in to be a nice little flat area ready for building on and then I went back to the track building a contraption that would fill in the dirt underneath the train track that I'd placed, add a layer of gravel at the top and then dig through the mountain all the way through to where the train comes out. And then I went all the way back to Hill Valley to grab the Flying Fox and drove it all the way up to our new area. And that brings us to now. So today's video is all about generating power. Now that we've got our hot springs, which is bringing in plenty of lava, and I mean plenty, we've got tanks and tanks full up here. And if we go down underneath, we've got a big old tank full here. And if we go into the nether, we got a big old tank full in here. We got so much lava. So the plan is to build a big old power station and I'm going to be building that down here. And this power station is going to be getting lava from there via a little train that's going to run around the mountain and it's also going to be getting water from this lake, which to be honest is a little bit more of a pond because it's not very big and it also doesn't have very much water in it just yet. And that leads me to a problem. I've got a ridiculous amount of terraforming to do. Now that we've got our train up here, I've been basically thinking about how it's all going to link together and there's a couple of things I'm not happy with with. The first thing is this horrible slope of the train track coming up here. Even though we've rolled it all so it sort of mounds up a little bit and obviously we need to fill in some of these gaps, the track just doesn't look very good when it's going up at an angle. So what I'd really like to do is instead of having it coming up on this slope here is to demolish a big flat area around the side of this hill, have the train coming all the way down on a nice flat bit with a big sort of steep cliff on this side, go into the mountain there, climb up inside the mountain where you can't see it and then pop out of the top up here. Well then this point here where the train is is not actually where I want the station. I want the station to run along the side of this little lake and then I want the train to be able to go off to that village and have a little station there and then I want it to go through this mountain to another area on the other side. But again it's all sort of lumpy and disorganized and I've done my best to sort of smooth out and level out this area here but realistically I need this level that the train's on at the moment to wrap around this lake and then sort of continue in that direction. So I've got a whole bunch of dirt placing to do but thankfully due to the crazy amount of terraforming I did before this video, I got a whole bunch of dirt now. So let's get placing. And I think filling in that sort of shape around this little lake is probably going to be all that we need for now. So I guess I better fill it in. I'm all out of dirt. Oh, geez, I used over 3,000 blocks. But I'm nearly finished, and I think this terrain's coming together quite nicely. We've got a big old flat area. We've got room for the train and a station to come through. We've got room for a power station, and then we've got room for a train track to come along here and then potentially have a station at this village here. And I've done my best to blend it in with the terrain there. I think I've done an okay job. We'll be able to tell more once the grass is all filled in. So really, I only needed a few more blocks, which I can get from inside, I guess. Oh, gee. Oh, no. Oh, oh geez. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of Creepers. You broke me all. Oh, anyway, gathering dirt. Ah, not again. No, no. Oh, goodness sake. But I lit everything up. Stupid creepers. There you go. That's the holes fixed. All right, now just to finish off this little bit down here. And there we go. That's all blended in properly now. The only bits I haven't done are this bit because I kind of want a little cliff base along here, which is going to mean stone and roughing it up and that sort of thing. And I don't really know where the station's going to go yet. But I do know where the station for here is going to be going. And speaking of here, I don't know where here is. We haven't got a name for this area yet. So if anyone's got any good ideas for names, then let me know. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, then why don't you consider subscribing? Because, well, still around about 70% of you aren't even subscribed. Right then, it's time to sort this station out and sort these tracks out and that means i need to move these trains because they're a bit in the way there we go trains are out of the way which means we can get rid of all of this track destroy all of this gravel destroy this bit of track and fill it back in with dirt and there we go that's all filled in okay so track then we actually want to be lined up with the side of this pond lake thing around about here 
So we're going to get the track over to this point somehow. So I guess we need to sort of bring it round to follow this cliff round to there. And keep coming this way. A little bit more just to there. Lovely. Keep coming. Now we need to get it over onto this bit over here. Lovely. So we've got a track going all the way down there now. And we're also going to have a secondary piece of track running alongside this one. And there we go. Lovely. And that means I can now extend this lake out substantially in this direction. Great. More landscaping. I think that sort of shape should work hopefully it's portable drill time and more digging time and portable drill time again and digging time again and now we've got a relatively decent shape to this lake going on except for this very sharp back end but this bit's for good reason it's time to start filling it in and i don't want to just fill it in with water with all this granite and stone and all that sort of stuff going on we need to make it look semi-decent so i'm going to need a whole bunch of mud and a whole bunch of moss that means we're going to need a whole bunch of space to carry it all and i just happen to have this big old backpack right now i need to head back to hill valley so i can grab the nature's compass and we need a mangrove swamp oh my goodness four thousand 200 blocks away and putting it on the map that's all the way over here right okay before we go there there's one more thing i need and that is to spend a couple more emeralds buying a couple more books and then put these all onto this shovel here have i ended up with stasis it's not what i wanted i wanted i wanted them breaking i bought the wrong book can i disenchant this book on there I can. Oh, amazing. Well, that's handy. I would like on breaking three this time, not stasis. Thank you. And there we go. The lovely vein mining shovel. And I'd love to... Oh, you can put silk touch on it with vein mining. What? Yes, please. That means I can get grass and not just dirt. Before we go, I should probably fill up my lava tank. And then just see what moss we've got available. Not actually that much. Oh, jeez. I thought I had more than that. So we're going to need to go grab moss as well. Now, we know from recent expeditions that there's a big old pile of moss just behind Hill Valley. But I don't really want to steal that moss because it'll make a big old mess of the area. So now I need to try and find where there was moss that I got last time. Which I can't really remember where that was. And because when I put this thing on a server, I lost everything from my minimap, I've got absolutely no idea. You're not doing that another journey for moss thing again, are you? I really hope not. I don't want to spend all day looking for moss again. I found it! Vein mining ho! Here, yeah, Crow, do you want some seeds? And there we go. That's a good amount of moss to be getting on with. Now we just need to go 4,000 blocks over to the mangrove swamp. But what adventures will we find on the way? Nothing. Worst adventure ever. I'm kidding, that was probably the best adventure I've ever had. Check this out. I spy a shipwreck. Oh, ow, ow, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's so many of them. Why are treasure ships so difficult to get to now? Oh, look, mossy cobblestone. It's like foreshadowing. Right then, horrible skeleton fish. Eat bow. Just die. There's your treasure map, and now I'm going in the opposite direction from where I need to go. Morning, whale. Ooh. Right, excursions aside, we need to get to that mangrove swamp. It appears I'm running out of world. What is this? Is this the end portal? Oh, and it's got zombie guards. Oh, wow, it's full of endermites. It's tempting me to go lower. It's got a bedroom. Ooh, a lot of dead ends. More dead ends. More doors. More bedrooms. Wow, look at this place. This is incredible. Oh, and there's the end portal. Now, apart from the fact that this place is completely waterlogged, if we look on the map, look at this structure and look at the rooms that there are. This is incredible. Just the fact that there's rooms and things everywhere. And Ah, excuse me. Are you doing a piece of camera right now? No? Well, don't interrupt. Oh, we got an enchanted golden apple. And look, it's right next to a guardian farm. It's more distractions. We've found another little one of these water villages. If we've got anything. Have you got nothing, little villager? What do you got, Harris? Nothing. The last one of these I went to, it had diamonds in it. So hopefully it will again. Oh, it does. You got anything worth having? Nothing. Nothing. Why do you even exist? Rubbish, stupid water villagers. There's another armada. Golden apple. Golden apple. Mithin templates. Emeralds. Ooh, a globe. More sponges. More diamonds. More emeralds. Thank you, rich villagers. Goodbye. Well, we're not far away now. Look at this. This looks proper swampy. What are these? Willow? I've never seen a willow tree. I need it. Some mangrove logs. Some acacia logs. Get us on. Ah, there's a snake. It's, it's hard to top me. Hey, get off. What are you doing to me? Hey, get off. These places are dangerous. Flowers of the savannah. Acacia blossoms. <gasps> What's this too tall flower? A button bush? I need it. I don't even know what it is. Yep, but that doesn't stop me from needing it. Right. But what are these? Married dolls. An ant. A leaf cutter ant. What are you doing, buddy? What is an ant hill? What was that? What is that? 
What is this? A light? Oh, it's a firefly. Apparently. Ah, mud. That's what we came here for. Thank you. We'll probably do with some of these mangrove roots as well. Oh, ah, what is this? A, a big one? Why is it attacking me? I didn't mean to break down your home, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. They're quite strong as well, but it's also dead. It's a good job we brought this spare backpack. The only downside is it's got no upgrade slot, so I can't fit that much in it. So is there any way I can make these stack upgrades while I'm out here in the middle of nowhere? I need iron and leather and string. Reeds and cattails. Lily pads. Water lilies. Tiny lily pads. And an alligator. Oh, it's a crocodile. Out. Oh, he's doing a barrel roll with me. Stop it. You're actually... Whoa. Ah. Wow. Okay. Jump in his mouth. Stop it. Let me go. Here we go, he's dead. Crocodile scoot. A crocodile egg. A dragonfly. No way. Right, anyway, we need to escape from this place for a little bit in order to get ourselves or find ourselves some leather. Oh, there's another one of those baobab trees over there. Where there's baobab trees, there's leather. Everyone knows that old legend. Baobab trees, show me the mystery of your leather interior. You're not made of leather. You suck. Oh, kangaroos. Do you drop leather? Kangaroo hide. And I bet elephants drop leather. I beg your pardon. No, I'm not killing an elephant. I'm not doing it. Elephants are beautiful creatures. So are kangaroos. Yeah, but elephants are nicer. Okay. What's this? <laughs> the villager statue. What have I encountered? It's like a wow, like a little like Incan or Mayan villagey thing. This is amazing. I'm expecting a big old dungeon underground. Is that suspicious gravel? I think I just broke tons of it. Oops. String. I need string. I want a gold block. All, right, all I need now is some leather and a feather. Hello, raccoon. I should probably go to sleep. Ah! Whoa! Sleep. Give me a leather. Oh, I wonder if I can get feathers from crows. <laughs> Seemingly not. Maybe I have to kill more than one. Nope. I wonder if blue jays drop feathers. Oh, you did! What you got? Flint. An empty water bottle. Wonderful. A gold ingot. A bone. Book. Another book. Another iron ingot. Some blue dye. Another gold ingot. Some more cocoa beans. Oh, a name tag. That's useful. Another name tag. Oops. A brick. A bone. A bit of gold. More cocoa beans. A more iron. Another gold ingot. Another gold ingot. A stick. An iron nugget. An empty bottle. A saddle. And that means there's just one chest left to get, and that's... Well, it has got diamonds in it, so that's good. And a music disc. That means the loot backpack that I brought with me is getting kind of full. We've found all sorts of crazy things on here. My gathering backpack is absolutely rammed to the hilt with things, and so is most of my inventory. But at least now I've got enough string and leather to make a couple of these upgrade bases. Oh, that's nearly all my diamonds gone. That's made a big difference. I've actually got space. And that means I can go back to the mangrove swamp and grab even more stuff. Swamp cypress logs? Yes, please. Monkeys or gorillas or so. I think they're gorillas. The big question is, can I pick them up? I can. And can I stack them? Will you go on top of this one? No. Okay. Well, hmm. Um, moving on. Giant leaf cutter rant. Would you like to ride on a gorilla? You would. <laughs> Fantastic. Little tiny monkeys. Oh, you're just copying Mr. Beard's. I'm not. I just look. They're in my world. Hello. Oh, we could make a little tiny monkey stack. Take one home. No, I'm not doing it. I'll just have a big old stack of little monkeys. That's the best little stack of monkeys I think I've made all day. Well, I think I've had just about enough adventure for one day. It has been an absolutely amazing journey. Again, we've found loads of stuff I didn't expect to find. But I can't spend all day adventuring. Hummingbird Hotel. 5,171. We'll be there in no time. And here we are. That didn't take too long. Just all of my life. And I think this globe will go nicely just there by our little fireplace. Oh, lovely. All right, now I just need a whole bunch of cobble to mix in with this big old bunch of moss to make a whole bunch of mossy cobble. And then we can make a whole bunch of mossy cobble variants. Cobbled mossy cobblestone. I like it. And we can get variations of mud as well on this botanist workbench, but they all look a little bit not very natural. So we won't bother with that. Okay, let's make this lake look like a lake. The first thing I need to do is dam off this water. Shape the rest of this that I was holding in. Then I'm going to fill the deepest parts with mud, just like that. How did you die, rabbit? Where did, what, what? Then I'm going to throw in a few of these muddy mangrove roots around the edges. A little bit like that. Dig away a few of these bits around the outside. And throw a little bit more mud into those holes I've just made. And then throw in some mangrove roots into those holes that's got the mud in. And perhaps a couple here and there. 
actually on the mud, just to sort of bring all of that together. Now we're going to get into the Marty Cobblestone, and I'm just going to splat this around a little bit like that. Now I did get a comment saying there was a trowel in this mod pack enabling you to place variations of random blocks. I looked into it and it's a separate mod from the Feed the Beast mod pack, sadly, but that would have been really useful. And there we go, but a bunch of the different variations in here, and you might notice that over that end I've got more lighter ones, and that's because I'm going to gradually build that end towards the snow. I don't think that looks too awful, but now I've got a little bit more blending to do, and that's going to be using just normal moss blocks. And now that I've got a bunch of lumpy, weird stuff going on, and bear in mind this looks very strange because it's not underwater yet, we're going to throw in some azalea leaves. Just get this underwater area looking all sort of lifelike and interesting. There we go, that's a whole bunch of leaves placed in there as well. I think this is time to start filling up with water. I'm going to start by waterlogging the hotel by mistake and ruining all of my area underneath it. Brilliant. Perfect. Thank you. Good job. All right, let's get waterlogging. You know what? I'm going about this all wrong. I've got an absolutely ginormous area to fill in here and I've got a couple of buckets and it's taking forever. But there's an easier way. All I need to do is add an infinite water source here, throw down a quick windmill, get some power, make a pump, throw in a hose pulley, have a sleep before more creepers come and blow up all of my hard work, wind this down a smidge, connect that to that, and hopefully when I power that, that's going to start pouring water into there it is. All right, how fast can I get it? 256, we can go full speed. There we go, look, it's filling in the water sources, incredible. Well, that's disappointing. It seems to have just stopped at this point here, and I'm not exactly sure why. Got an idea. Uh, that wasn't my idea. I just moved the hose pulley into the middle of the lake a little bit and wind it down a couple of blocks, and hopefully it'll manage to fill the rest in. I hope. No, it doesn't seem to be getting past this point here for some reason. Oh, it's filled up in here. Why is it filled up in here? Why has it done that? Oh, there's a hole. Oh, jeez. Look, there's a hole here. I can't believe it. I bet that was an Enderman. Hey, Enderman. I need to fix Enderman griefing. Oh, jeez. I guess I can put it all back together again now. Right, is it going to continue now? Or is there another hole somewhere? Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Oh, jeez. Well, there's only one thing for it, and that's to fill the entire thing in underneath here, I think, and just plug up any holes that it thinks it's got. And with these last few bits of water here, that's that whole lot under there filled in. And how's our lake doing? Is it actually progressing at all? It doesn't appear to still. What's the problem now? I don't know why it's not filling in anymore. Only one thing for it. And that's to build the entire thing on the other side. There we go. We'll start filling in from this end instead. And while that's filling in, I might as well get on with decorating the rest of the area around it. Oh, jeez. Please, go away. Leave me alone. Shoo, shoo. Well, the water's all filled in now, so I can smash all of this to bits. And I've tidied up this little area here, adding in a few leaves, added in a bit more snow, putting some more mossy cobble underneath the water, and I think that all looks great. Round the edges of the pond, I've put a little bit of coarse dirt and some more of these mangrove roots. But now I need to do in the water. And for this, we're going to be using a large variety of lily pads, some of these cattails, reeds, big drip leaves, small drip leaves, seagrass, and some leaves. And hopefully we can get this thing looking quite nice. And there we go. I think that looks like a pretty fabulous lake to me. I really like it. I love all of this detail that you can get. These cattails and the reeds, the floaty bits of azalea leaves with loads of lily pads, the different variations of lily pads, the seagrass, the big drip leaves down at the bottom here. We got all the small drip leaves. So much foliage, so much greenery, just bringing the whole thing together. Stop it. Get some help. So it all looks great, except for that horrible flat bit at the back. Why haven't I done anything with that? Well, that's because this is gonna be part of our power station. the basic structure in place. There's not really too much to it. We've got a few roofs. We've got this entrance way here. We've got this flat area outside where our train's going to be coming in. It's going to be depositing the items through here. 
up here, upstairs, we're going to be having a control room and they've got windows so they can see what's going on over the lake and they can see what's going on with the train turning up as well. In this area here, which is very similar to our lava farm area, we're going to be having our boilers and they're going to be pumping water from the lake underground. Got a couple of little doorways, one there facing in that direction and one here facing in this direction to the steps, that which then leads you to certain doom. And also they don't have any stairs on yet. So we're probably going to need to do something with this track and these stairs. And what I was thinking, although I don't think it'll work with this double track, is actually to extend this over a little bit and have the trains go through the building. Well, that seems like a lot of work right now and this episode's already taken a very long time. <laughs> what I've now got to do is link up our narrow gauge train track through this mountain to come out somewhere down here, come along to this station, park up, deliver the lava and then go back off again and back up to there. Right, so starting from this level here, we obviously want the train to come from this direction and then go into the hill at some point so then it can travel upwards. I and mean, we could have it literally curved down and come in from this point here. That might work, although it's not going to give us a great deal of room to play with at this station, but I guess it doesn't need to be all that long. I think I'm just going to flatten this bit out here. Try not to destroy my shovel in the process. And if I just dig through here, we should hopefully, there we go, be perfectly in line with that one amazing and there we go let's link it up we're so close and there we go it's all linked up that's i don't like that nope try again It'd be great if i could get it to link all the way up to here but i think this is too far away yeah it is oh that sucks and there we go we are all linked up we have a track going all the way down to that little station and all the way up here you have to excuse the fact that the floor's going through the blocks a bit. We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, right, let's build a train. But before I do that, I actually need one to actually build a tunnel for us. And I've already got this one, which already does exactly what I need to do. But unfortunately, it's on the wrong size track and it's way too big. We don't need anything this big. So let's just get this over here to this little station, disassemble it, and then smash it to bits. I only need a few bits. Put in some controls, stick on a seat, put some contraption controls on. Let's grab a bunch of day, all right? Set all of these to replace with day all right stick on a barrel fill it full of that day all right and then make sure neither of those are active so it doesn't destroy our station and that should be it this should be all we need to dig a hole through the tunnel and then replace the floor in there and get all that track nice and smooth now all i've got to do is sit on the seat drive it up to this wall turn on the drills and that one as well and off we go into this mountain We've nearly made it to where the nether portal was. And there we go. We now have a lovely little tunnel. It does need some work at the front here. That's absolutely fine. We can do that later on. But first of all, I want to make this train look like a real train. I have made a train. Now, it's a little bit bigger than what I wanted, but tiny trains are very difficult to make on Create, even with narrow gauge rail, and that's because the bogies are so big. But I think I've done a decent job, despite the fact that the snow shovel on this is bigger than my house. So it's got a lantern at the front and a nice little funnel, and it's got controls that go both ways. So the driver of this will be able to drive it back up the hill once he's finished unloading here, and the unloading's going to be really interesting. We've got three lava tanks on each of these carriages, and they connect to these portable fluid in interfaces here and it works if we hop in here and then hit the controls to go that way you can drive it all the way up the hill backwards but we've got a little bit of a problem when we get to this station up here because even though we can park at it quite nicely as you can see our train stays in the tunnel and the fluid system doesn't link up with either one of these carriages so it was time to get busy i started by widening the station area at the hot springs removing the wall and extending the track instead of turning it into the hill i then added two new filling stations with girders and portable fluid interfaces which I connected with copper pipes and pumps into the tanks behind the wall inside the hot springs. I connected power using cogwheels and shafts under the floor and then gave the conductor of our lava train a schedule to fill up 64 buckets with lava at the hot springs and then deposit it all at the power station. Then he got right to work while I rebuilt the wall at the side of the station and added a bit of snow for decoration. And I continued that decoration down at the power station, adding a floor into the control room upstairs, some interior walls made of limestone, a couple of basic dark oak external doors and some fancy sliding doors on the inside. I also threw up a few lanterns around the outside of the building and some bridge supports to act as tables on the inside. But it wasn't time for decorating, it was time for power. So I planned out where our boilers would be, threw some pumps onto the back of them and linked them with copper pipe into the basement and out into the lake where they could collect water. But I was all out of copper sheets, so back at Hill Valley I pressed a few stacks of copper, iron and gold ingots before heading into the blaze farm to grab a whole bunch of blaze burners. Slightly singed, I headed back to the power station, added in the blaze burners and started working on the lava filling system using mechanical arms and spouts and connecting them with 
pipes running along girders with brackets for support. Now it was time to connect the lava coming in from the train to the spouts, which meant I needed a buffer lava tank at the station area. With another pump in place and the copper pipes connected via the rooms between, I added some stairs and a banister to the control room and prepped for power. My plan was to add two steam engines to each boiler with shafts connected them, but my spout system was in the way, so I moved it around a little, adding in a bunch more girders for decoration, instructed the mechanical arms where to deposit and collect, and then connected them both up with cogwheels and gearboxes for power. Behind the boilers, I added in more cogwheels to power the water pumps, connecting them all to our main power line at the front of the boiler room. Then I added in a manual hand crank to prime the boilers, trickling in a little bit of water, allowing the system to get started, and once it was running slowly, I connected the power line and shafts all the way through to the buffer lava tank to power the inlet pump, finally drawing in the hot springs lava into our system. With the mechanical arms now grabbing buckets of filled lava and activating the blaze burners, the system kicked up a gear, but needed more water, and rather than opting for more pumps, I opted for speed, adding in a speed controller to increase the speed of the water pumps, drawing in more water and bringing each boiler up to level 4, which means I could add twice as many steam engines, doubling up our power. So I threw in another two steam engines on top of each boiler, connected them all with another shaft, and then connected that shaft to the existing power shaft, giving us a quarter of a million units of available stress. And that brings us to now. Well, this is all just got a little bit ridiculous. We're creating 243,712 stress units worth of power, which is amazing. Our train has a driver. He's been coming backwards and forwards, depositing his lava from the hot springs up there into here, into this tank here. And as you can see, we're collecting a whole bunch of it. And that lava is getting fed through along these pipes here, through this little room here where there's a pump and into our ridiculous boiler room. This has four level four boilers. Now I could have made a couple of higher level ones, but I kind of like these. We've got two mechanical arms doing pretty much what they did in the previous places, taking a lava bucket, giving it to the blaze burners, and then giving the empty bucket back. We've got two spouts up here doing that, and each one of these boilers, because it's a level four, can have four steam engines. So we've got two steam engines along the front of each boiler running down this shaft here. There's another two engines on the top of each one of these boilers running along this shaft, and that shaft just joins together with the other one just down here so that gives us all of the power that these boilers can produce and they are producing very very nicely and we're getting lots and lots of power and we're not using any of it which is fantastic there's still a whole bunch of decorating to do in here and there's still a whole bunch of work to do up in this control room because currently there's nothing i want a big old display board up here with all of the how much power we're using how much power we've got how much lava's in this system how much lava's at the hot springs you name it i want Want all of that information up there and the last thing to show from this build at the moment because it's not 100% finished in terms of decoration is just these pipes where we're getting our water from down here and I tried to make them different levels to make it look slightly more interesting but I'm not 100% sure that I achieved that but it's all working perfectly and with a little bit of luck our little train driver is going to disappear in a minute and we can watch him go and get the lava and then come back down again. There we go. Off he goes. He's going back to the hot springs. Can we beat him there? And he should reverse up to these lines here. Here he comes. And now they're going to fill each of those tanks with eight buckets of lava. And then he'll just go off again. This is wonderful. You might notice over here I've actually blocked off our little hole in the wall where we had the turning point. There's absolutely no need for it now because this train's just going backwards and forwards. And overall, I think the whole thing looks fantastic. So it must be time for one of them special moments that we do with the shaders, right? I don't know about that. Do you get in trouble? No, it'd be all right, mate. Dear God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> 